Hello everybody, I am Richard Vigorelli, your guide for everything Chinese medicine and Chinese astrology, and I set it up so that us Westerners can understand. So I want to talk a little bit more about herbs. Uh, I just did uh, a video on uh, a couple of formulas that we use during cold and flu season. So what I want to talk about right now are some herbs that might be found in one of those. Well, one of them is. One of those herbs is found. The others are actually used to calm you down, usually for anxiety or uh, anger issues or even insomnia. So, and believe it or not, these herbs are not plants. They're actually rocks and quite naturally occurring. Well, one of them is technically a fossil, and two of the others are created by animals, but we only take them from the dead ones that we didn't kill. Okay, I'll get to that in a minute. So, I bet you only thought that herbs were plants. Well, according to Chinese medicine, uh, an herb is any animal, vegetable, or mineral, or just any substance that has medicinal and or curative properties, assuming you use it for the right condition in the right amount. One of the things that I want to make very, very clear is any substance that has any kind of medicinal or nutritive quality to it can become a poison when you use too much of it. So Americans especially need to get rid of the idea that some is good, more must be better. That is stupid and ridiculous, especially when you're dealing with medicine. Okay? So, onto those rocks. Okay, the first one is in uh, what's called Bai Hu Tong, which I talked about in my last video. That is called, this herb is called Shigao, which literally means little, right, uh, little white rock thingy. Okay? Uh, in English, we call it gypsum. Yep. It is actually one of the coldest herbs that we have in the Chinese pharmacopoeia. It's not the coldest per se. There's actually quite a few plants that are colder, but we don't use them because they tend to kill people. Bit of an issue. This is the coldest herb that we have that we're allowed to use. So we put it in formulas like, like Bai Hu Tong, because then the fever dissipates. Okay. So how do we prepare this? Well, we take the rock, crush it up in what's called a mortar pestle. That's that bowl with a stick sticking out of it and you pound things. Okay. Into a fine powder and then we stick that into a, uh, into like a filter, like a, like a tea bag, and we throw that in for 30 minutes before we put anything else in. And this is the same way for any and all kind of mineral type herbs. Okay. Then we throw everything else in and you drink the tea, everybody's better. Okay, moving on. Now, the other rocks that we typically use are, uh, they're what are called Shen Calmers. Okay, Shen calming means to kind of set a person right back, back to normal. If they're really excited and nervous and angry and all this, then we calm them down. If they're kind of uh, a little blitzed out, that's still a Shen disturbance. So we need to liven them up. So we add different things into the formula. Okay, so let's talk about the herbs that actually calm you down and bring you down. The reason why they're rocks. Rocks are heavy. So they're going to grab this thing and calm it. Okay. First one I want to talk about is called Long Gu. Literally, it means dragon bone. And no, we didn't get it from dragons. They are actually the fossilized toe bones and uh, vertebrae of extinct Ice Age mammals. So when you go to the Chinese herb store, you might be uh, getting in your formula a little bit of grind up woolly mammoth or three-toed sloth or, I don't know, something else. OK, 
okay? Been in the ground for a very, very long time. That makes it very cold. It also makes it very heavy, very calming. So again, we grind it up and put it in a bag for 30 minutes and boiling, etc. okay? This helps bring down the mind, helps calm you down, and it also helps prevent you some, from sweating. Now it's got a best friend. This one is called Muli. This is actually oyster shells. Yeah, oyster shells, believe it or not. I know if you're kosher, you're probably not going to want this one, but it is fantastic at calming you down and keeping you from sweating. So let's say you are nervous and you're sweaty and you're just all upset. Well, we're, I'm going to give you a formula with langu and mu li in it to calm you down and get that sweat back inside your body so you're not eliminating your fluid. Okay. Next herb. We have, this one is called chi shi. That is spelled C-I space S-H-I. Also known as magnetite. Believe it or not. Fantastic for calming people down. However, if you got if you have iron rich blood like I do, <laughs> you don't want to use this one. It'll make you a little wacko. Personal story. Okay. Uh, next one we have is called Dajesh. Uh, otherwise known as hematite. Okay. Fantastic little stone. Cools the blood, helps calm you down. You use too much of it, though, and you'll get a lovely toxic effect. Yeah, it'll definitely calm you down. Uh, might cause a few issues. Okay. So, those... Uh, oh, one more herb that I want to talk about. I think you'll like this one. It's called Zhenzhumu. Also very calming, and it's fantastic for coating the back of your throat. When you got like a burned throat from talking too much, you're starting to sound like a like a, like somebody who's been smoking for forty years. Yeah. What they do is they is they grind up is they grind up ginger moon. By the way, this is mother of pearl. They grind it up, they put it in a straw, and they go on the back of your throat. Goes it like that. Calms you right down. Calms down the throat. Everybody's happy. Okay, so uh, these have been uh, the Chinese medicine of rock herbs. There's actually a few more, but I'm not going to go into them. So, if you're new to my channel, please do me a solid, hit that big red subscribe button below. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to visit my website, contact me there directly. Uh, that website is vigintmed.com. That stands for Vigorelli Integrated Medicine.com. And I will be able to get to you as soon as I possibly can. So, I'll be back next time with something a little bit different. Until then, take care, stay healthy, and I will see you later.